This is One Pixel Away concept series, where I tackle interesting new concepts and explore different design spaces. The new Apple TV really excites me. Apple's new TV OS and App Store open up a whole new world of possibilities for a device that's still very much a part of our lives. Even though we live in a multi-screen world with laptops, tablets, and smartphones, the TV screen is still the one we use most when with others, and it's still the best shared screen experience. For this concept, I wanted to explore something that isn't traditionally a shared screen experience, nor is something that people often do on a TV. Reading. And what better service to conceptualize than Medium? blogging service that has never shied away from taking interesting approaches to reading and writing. So this episode's concept is medium for Apple TV. Let's start with some super basic personas. Who would use this product? First comes to mind are spouses and families. It's already very common for married couples to catch up on social feeds and read news in bed. This could be done together on medium for Apple TV. For kids, it could be a good way to share something interesting and learn together as a family. Next, friends. Imagine having a few friends over and having everyone browse Medium together. Or sharing that one article you think is amazing and you feel everyone has to read. Finally, single user browsing. Although the experience is catered toward multiple people, it should also work with someone browsing alone. Imagine someone coming home from work and just trying to wind down. Now, some quick product principles. This product has to be content centric. Anything that doesn't make the content shine shouldn't be included. Content is always instant on TVs and so shouldn't require any setup to dive right in. Second, the product needs to accommodate a multi-user experience. A feature idea to accomplish this could be to have an activity tab that shows all the bookmarks and recommendations from all the users on the same Wi-Fi network. Third, the app should have the idea of responsive design. Since people place TVs at various lengths away from them and can also be away from the TV momentarily, for example, eating breakfast in the kitchen. So there should be a way to adjust the text size for a more comfortable reading experience. Next, all controls should feel smooth and fluid, have zero lag and have very minimal loading times. Finally, the UI should showcase the author's work as they intended it to be. All right, let's jump into some iterations. I haven't included any of my process work or wireframes and will instead jump straight into the high fidelity mocks. Here's the first iteration. I started off by making it look similar to what Medium has now on the web. From here, I kept iterating, trying different widths, heights, margins. I realized the white background was too harsh, so I tried different color schemes as well. I experimented with a couple of two column designs and here I tried some image heavy designs as well. It was helpful going through these iterations as I realized none of them felt like an Apple TV app. So I studied Apple's existing apps closer to improve the design. I'll skip more process work and go straight to the final design. This is medium for Apple TV. It's designed to respect the current medium look and feel but it still feels home on the Apple TV. As you'd expect, a quick swipe and you can scroll the articles fluidly. You can flick quickly to get back home or go through the articles slowly to see them one by one. The preview shows exactly what the article will look like, so it's easier to know what to expect. Once you're in the article, all the motions are fluid and fast. You can read slowly or you can quickly skim the article. Since we're building a consumption first experience, you'll see here I've taken out the ability to write responses directly within the app. Instead, you can make a reminder for yourself to write a response when you're on your laptop or mobile device where text input is much easier. Once you're done reading, press menu and you're back home. Now let's look at some other sections. Here we've got top stories. And here, you'll see that activity tab we spoke about earlier that brings together all the recommendations and bookmarks from everyone on the same Wi-Fi network. This is great for when people are together and want to share what they've read earlier. Finally, the responsive button. 
I decided to keep it to only two sizing options rather than a granular approach to keep the UI simple. So this is it, my concept for medium for Apple TV. It was a fun concept to do and helped me explore the new Apple TV design space, especially with an experience you wouldn't usually see on a TV. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any comments feel free to message me and if you like it please share. Thank you.